Then I took a nap. <laughs> 20, 2018! 2018! This match tournament! Tournament of champion! 145 votes on the California Delta! These guys had 20 pounds leading at the first day, came back, took 17 plus pounds on a second day. He netted the big fish of the tournament. That's right. Really good. You yeah. caught it. Yes, absolutely. I've got, I got Anthony and I got Joseph. Give a round of applause for our winners, if you would please, people. <laughs> Now these guys right here had a great day. Now we're going to get some information. Throughout the day, on, on this day, I put out cameras on these boats. All the top finishers and guys are sitting there coming in going, man, that's a bummer. You put a camera on my boat and it, it just didn't work out because I always time I put a camera on my boat, I never catch any fish. Sure. And you know a lot about that. about that. Yes, you, know. you do. Do you it's, want to video this one? What do you I got us 20 coots. I works. got a coot off the shoulder on camera, I believe. Second boat out? Smoking. Yeah, yeah, First, no. Yeah. My camera, I think, got hit by one. You got a duck hunting license? Uh, I do. Put me on okay, good. for at least 30 this morning. Yeah. <laughs> we got a there, there was another guy that hit a duck on the way here. Uh, the guy that had the tooth, he oh. hit a duck. Well, it's a coot, and he hit it, and it landed on the boat. He goes, what do we do with that? I go, I don't, I can't resuscitate it. You know, I just, <laughs> no, we don't have much time. The last TOC that was here? My graph on the ram mount hit a coop. The coop was stuck, stuck in. in between there. I went away. Yeah. Microphone yeah. through your mouth. Uh, do you want to hear this again? No, no, no. He had a mic. He had a coop get stuck in the graph. Yeah, last, that was last. Last, last, last. Was it on the lateral line? Where was it? Yeah. So anyway, we just we just got the rails just fell off. Those the wheels just fell. You're just gonna have to edit the heck out of this. Cut, cut, cut. Nominal, for a nominal fee, I could do that. For yes, you could. I bet you can. Not really. No, no, no. <laughs> so, yeah, blue back. Yeah. The herrings are on. The herring, blueback herring bite. Yep. Okay. You guys caught 20 pounds the first day. Tell these anglers what you did to find 20 pounds. Literally threw one lure for two days. Yeah. Caught them all in square bills. Except for our video. That was on a lures. Casting for stripers. Pretty much. Everybody's going to be mad now. What do you mean, cast me for stripers? They're, they're blowing, blowing up in the middle of the channel, channel. when well, you're we bored. So you got to throw <laughs> at them every once in a while. And he caught a 10-pounder doing it. So you're seeing, the, you're seeing the boil of the yeah. stripers. Yeah. And you, you There's decide. shad blowing up. They're going nuts. And then I thought he was backlash. So you know how you just clear out your, your reel, you know, in the middle of the channel? Hey, here yeah. Mike. Mike, it's on. It's just, I don't know. You need a better <laughs> microphone. <laughs> but yeah, he five. <laughs> I got a couple you can borrow. Uh, he threw out in the middle of the channel. Think, you know, go for a striper. Thank you. Now we're going to get feedback. And uh, he, what was it? He thought it was grass. He lifts up. He's like, I got a striper. And then it jumped. And it was not a striper. And that's when the knees started knocking. Mainly on me because I didn't want to knock it off. And uh, that was it. You know, it's funny you should say that. The, uh, la two weeks ago, my clients threw out there and they had one large mouth and one striper, and it was like a five-pound largemouth and a four-pound striper. Yeah. They're all eating the same food. Well, the funny thing, though, is, I mean, the, the yeah, that, that might be here. I, I'll talk to you. Thank you. So the funny thing is they were chasing shad all over the place. You could see them jump. There's four or five-inch shad. The stripers are going nuts, blowing them out of the water. They didn't stand a chance. Every fish we caught was on a crawdad-colored crankbait. So I don't know what that that says they're, eating shad. they're eating shad, but you throw, throw a crab, you throw a crab at. You know, I, the pasture of the area, it's a new food source. When the water cools down, shad come into the territory, and they start chewing. Right. And they're chewing, they're focusing on that shad, and you're busting up. So it was very similar to a story. The guys were seeing the carp moving around and spawning. They fished in the carp areas, and they were catching bass. It was really cool to even listen to that. So now you're doing that same thing with stripers. You're fishing with the stripers. Now, that was your first day. Yeah. Now, today, there was wind. What'd you do today? Same place. Absolutely the same place. There was a 100-yard stretch, maybe 200-yard stretch that we fished for two days. It wasn't our That's first the same look everybody else gave us. It wasn't the same. It wasn't, it, it wasn't our, our first location. Either. We, we went to our number one location yesterday morning, Check. and, uh, I mean, we, we, did, we pre fished for, like, 45 minutes on Friday. We got here late. We slept in and so forth. There's things going on. But anyway, we we went out, we went to our first spot, and we had one keeper in like an hour and a half, 
and they're pumping the water out. So the tide never really moved for us. So it's like, all right, it just didn't look good. Thank you, so, Gary Brown. Yeah, thank our governor. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we just made a game time decision to go to a place that we've been a couple years ago. They're like, eh, we pre fished there a couple years ago and we got bit. Let's go try it out. And then all the madness happened and we had a pretty big bag and we had no other place to go. We, you know, on our way back, we were almost out of fuel. So we kind of fished our way back, hoping, you know, if something happened, we'd be closer to launch and got a couple bites, but there's nothing else happening. So we just went straight back to that exact stretch today. First three fish were better. About 13 pounds. For three yeah, 13 fish. pounds for three fish, and then just, gr you know, we're grinding it out. He lost the one about five, and we thought that that's, that's going to kill us. Yeah. But luckily, they weren't eating today. Yeah. Everybody says, oh, the wind. Yeah, they're going to eat better. No, they were getting one hook in their mouth. They're just slapping at it. Slapping at it. We lost they, a lot more they fish. They swallowed it yesterday. Yeah, they were choking it yesterday. But to be fair, where we were at, it, there wasn't as much wind. As soon as we came back towards launch, that, I mean, Frank's track was white caps. We I saw it out there. It was brutal. But where we were at, there was like a little ripple. You could see the trees moving, but it wasn't. We weren't really fighting. Well, that were higher enough. That I guess. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, we were, we were way far away. Way far away. I'll see the video. I'm not going to yeah, bring you'll it see up. Right yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Just blur out the background. I'll be, I'll be there on Wednesday. I've got a client. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> we fished it. We, fished, we didn't get bit there after about 11.30, so and if you can figure it out for me. We didn't get bit there until 11, about 11 to 1 yesterday, so. Yeah, all day. Yeah, good. yeah you're good. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us how it goes. All day, they bite. You know what? Outstanding. You guys have a great time. It's fun watching you guys fish. You guys, what I consider, uh, you're flying back the night before. A lot of times from back east, you're flying over. You're coming in. You're walking in. You're like dragging. I'm going, where'd you come from? Well, I was doing, I was doing this and doing that. If you guys don't know, he films for a living. So he does a lot of uh, Brent, filming. Brent Chapman's Pro vs. Joe. Check it out. Pro vs. Joe. Channel, he's the film. He's not that cool. I'm not that cool, but please watch a show. It helps. It helps pay the bills. <laughs> but uh, the last tournament we had out here... He had to come to SFO and pick me up. I flew in from Tampa that night. We got here at midnight, blew up the boat day one, had to drive home, borrow another boat. Like it was just, it was happening. I mean, so I wasn't seeing gas money for it. I'll pay you back. <laughs> yeah. You want the stack? I don't have any cash on me right now. Yeah, I don't have any cash back. on me right now. Just hit me up tomorrow. <laughs> No big deal. Call my people. Yeah, I have my people call your people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it'll get worse if we keep going. <laughs>